Bye. Love you. Have a fun trip. Thank you. squirrels. So Brad, our new friend, dropped us off a beautiful trout and some smoked trout that he did and also some moose meat. I think he, we became best friends. <laughs> Dan, Carolyn and I made it to our cousin's house. We're actually just getting everything packed and doing the last checks to make sure we've got everything. It's going to be a fun two week trip in Denmark for our cousin's wedding and then just uh, spending some time in Norway again. We were just there for the X Overland Nordic series, that expedition. The videos are currently publishing. They, I believe, have two episodes out on YouTube, maybe three now. I think episode three just came out. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be super fun to be back and just be able to experience it again. Uh, we got to see so many places while we were there. We're going to be going back to a town that we got to visit. Uh, the town of Loam it had the Stave Church, yeah, I think, in episode two of the Nordic series. We're going to be staying at a cabin in the hills there and hopefully get some hikes in. It might be a little early. They'll still have some snow, but we'll see. So very excited for our cousin and his wedding. It's a really special moment and we're gonna be happy to be there for sure. So yeah, doing the last of the packing, it's March break. So gonna be at the airport pretty, pretty early cause it's I think as busy as it can be. Yeah, we'll see you in Denmark. Basically fully packed, ready to go. <laughs> Running a little late. I think uh, we'll still be pretty, pretty good. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't that have been great? Dan's passport and mine. I remember one time uh, I was filming a shot. Uh, all right, so we made it to Denmark. Just getting all settled in. We're staying at a friend of ours house here. And uh, yeah, we just kind of got all unpacked. We all took showers this morning after the airport. Our flights went well. We actually uh, had a delay, a good two hour delay on our flight out of Toronto, which was a little worrying at first, but it actually ended up working out fine because we had a connecting flight from Heathrow Airport in London, which, you know, when we got off the plane because of the delay, we basically just walked, grabbed a drink, and then hopped on the plane to Denmark. We had no layover. So it all worked out well. And yeah, now we're here. Good morning, guys. Uh, lots going on this week. It's actually a what we would call an empty nest edition of the Epic Family Road Trip. Um, Carol and I went halfway down to the airport with the kids and grabbed lunch with them and then off they went. They um, headed to Europe for a couple of weddings and a big uh, gathering uh, conference with a whole bunch of young people their age. And um, so they're gonna be gone for a couple of weeks. While they're away, spring is starting to come on 
Um, as you can see, the lake is quite got a quite a layer of water on top, and I just heard the first uh, Canadian goose that I've heard since last fall when they flew south for the winter. So that's exciting. In the background, you see our motorhome from the early part of our epic family road trip back in the in 2016 and 17. And we've been talking about selling it for a couple of years, but uh, we've just been keeping it in storage because it's just chock full of uh, stuff that we collected on our trip and clothing from back then that the kids don't fit anymore and lots of stuff that's just going to end up in the trash. So Carol and I have been using the time uh, while the kids are away to uh, take loads of things that we want to keep across the lake before it thaws and uh and loading up the jeep with uh tons of garbage that we'll take up to the up to the dump on the weekend so uh it's very nostalgic going through all the old knickknacks and little drawings from the kids when they were younger and clothing that they can't wear anymore we're gonna have bags of clothing that will uh we're gonna drop off at a goodwill so yeah that project's underway we're just uh emptying out the motorhome and then we're gonna take it up into town we called a an upholstery shop because the uh, the dinette area where the kids would, the boys used to fold it down to sleep and then we'd eat dinner there and the kids would do homework there and all that stuff is, uh, the vinyl seat covers are completely worn off so they're gonna try to reupholster that for us and then we'll get this thing on the market. Here you can see the big divots where I was iced in but we got it out and uh, we're gonna head to town see if we can get it upholstered. It has been so sad um, since the kids have gone. It seems like all day and all night all he's doing is kind of doing a little whine or just has such a sad look on his face. <laughs> Did the other one go? Yeah. Already made it, but got it. All right, so we found somebody today in town to uh, do the upholstery for the motorhome, and we negotiated a deal, and so we left the motorhome there. It'll be there for a couple of weeks, getting reupholstered, and then a few more things, and we'll get it on the market. So now Carol and I are going to be taking this big load of gear from the motorhome across to the island. lights on. The lake is definitely changing. This is absolutely crazy. I was making coffee this morning and I thought I heard something. And when I came outside, the sound of the lake was just incredible. Just moving and making all of its noises. It's pretty eerie and it makes me, you know, stop and think about the breakup coming soon. Um, we're definitely gonna have to start planning for that and thinking about that a lot more.
So it looks like we had a bit of sap flow yesterday, not much, but it's frozen solid in there right now. The temperature might go above zero later today and then hopefully these will start flowing again. So every morning we get up and the ice is like a skating rink out here and uh, probably by three in the afternoon it's melting again. So it's just melting and thawing and freezing the top layer, but I don't think it's, you know, changing the thickness of the ice at all. So yesterday a friend came by and dropped off the trout and some moose meat and that really got us excited because a dream of mine is to go out and harvest some food to table for our family and uh, so when he started talking about his moose hunts and deer hunts and just turkey hunts I just was just ecstatic. Um, so Pete and I have been wanting to make a little backdrop for the archery area that we have. It's just going to be a basic backdrop and uh, it'll be nice to just kind of move it around and we can do some long range shooting down some of the paths here on the island.
be heavy.
thought it was something else. <laughs> I couldn't see a thing out there. I, just, uh, I can see how... Uh, Good boy. It's not hard to see how people can get lost in a, in a blizzard like that. You get snow blindness and then you get disoriented and everything looks the same. Uh, but I was following Lando. He knew where he was going the whole time. Right, buddy? Lando, come here, buddy. You always know where you're going. Yeah. You got a good sense of direction. <laughs> well, we made it safely. <clears throat> I left the lights on uh, before I left, just in case. I had a feeling if, it, <laughs> if we got stuck out there and it gets dark or something, we're going to need those guiding lights. But all's well that ends well. We made it home safely. So another adventure on the lake. Nothing like laundry day. Happy we got it done and back home safely. All right guys, probably gonna end this video here and go inside and warm up. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you like it down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that. It really helps us out as a channel and helps us continue to bring family friendly programming to YouTube.